Some years ago, doctors thought the bottom number, your diastolic pressure, was the main one to watch when it came to stroke and heart attack risk. But over time, that thinking changed, and the spotlight shifted to the top number, systolic pressure, as the bigger danger. Now diastolic pressure is getting more attention again, especially for younger people, where it might actually be a stronger warning sign for heart problems. In one study that followed people for eight years, researchers found that both systolic and diastolic pressures raise your risk, and they do it independently. While systolic readings still showed a stronger link, diastolic numbers clearly matter too. In this video, we'll break down the latest research on why your diastolic blood pressure, that bottom number, could be more important than you realize. But before we dive in, let's quickly cover what blood pressure actually is and what those two numbers really mean. When you get your blood pressure checked, you'll usually see two numbers. The top one is your systolic pressure. That's the pressure when your heart beats and pushes blood into your arteries. The bottom one is your diastolic pressure. That's when your heart relaxes between beats. Both numbers matter. Systolic shows how hard your heart pushes blood out with each beat. Diastolic is just as important. It's the steady pressure that keeps blood flowing to your heart and brain, even when your heart is resting. And here's something many people don't realize. During this resting phase, your heart muscle actually gets its own blood supply through the coronary arteries. If that number drops too low, your heart might not get enough oxygen. Now, before we dive deeper into diastolic pressure, here's where recent research on systolic pressure comes in. The SPRINT trial, a huge study funded by the U.S. National Institutes of Health and published in the New England Journal of Medicine, showed that lowering the top number, the systolic pressure, down to around 120 millimeters of mercury, or even a bit lower, can significantly reduce health risks. We're talking fewer strokes, fewer heart attacks, and better overall protection for your heart. That's why many doctors now aim for a tighter blood pressure target, especially for people at higher risk of heart disease. Now let's talk about something really important when it comes to that bottom number, your diastolic pressure. A 2021 analysis from Harvard, along with studies published in JAMA Network Open and the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, found that when your diastolic number drops below about 60, your risk of hidden heart damage actually goes up, even if you feel perfectly fine. In fact, people with diastolic readings under 60 were twice as likely to show signs of ongoing heart injury. How did researchers figure that out? They looked at a blood marker called troponin, which signals when the heart muscle has been stressed or damaged. And it's not just the really low numbers that matter. Even readings in the 60 to 69 range were linked to about a 50% higher risk. Over time, having a very low diastolic pressure has been connected to a greater chance of developing coronary heart disease. That's because diastolic, the bottom number, is when your heart muscle actually gets its own blood supply. If that pressure drops too low, it can limit blood flow and oxygen to your heart. So. It's really important to know your numbers, but also pay attention if you start feeling dizzy or tired. There's a video about these symptoms linked at the end, so make sure to check it out. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Blood Pressure Healthcare for more tips on managing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.